and he's just punching at me twice. He's just like, bam, bam. I always made fun of something. He always had to make, he always had to put me down about something. Everyone was around me saw, and no one cared. It just makes me sick I'm talking about this. When I was in the bathroom, I asked him for a favor. Next thing you know, he put a knife right to my throat. Danny Duncan's ex-employee just tried to cancel him, but then Danny hit us with the Uno reverse card. Things are getting interesting now. I was never putting him down. I was literally just trying to help him. I didn't take his money. I told him to take the 20% and invest in the stocks. I've never violently hit Aaron in a mean way where I'm trying to like knock him out or something. I, th I think I'm good at like starting drama. That's when I focus on starting drama. I think I like doing drama. Danny Duncan is a 29-year-old wildly successful YouTuber with millions of fans and millions of dollars. He's known for his I don't give a fuck attitude, fucking shit up, making noise, having fun, and pushing the limits. He keeps a team of interesting characters around him, just like Mr. Beast, David Dobrik, early Jake Paul era. It's like building the cast of a TV show. But Danny's have always been unique individuals, sometimes just ordinary people, not just a bunch of other aspiring influencers. Sun Hat Kid, real name Aaron Hall, is a 25-year-old content creator from Ohio who moved to LA in 2016 hoping to make it as a YouTuber. In his early career, he would basically skateboard around LA and see what kind of nonsense he can get into. Pranks, stunts, anything potentially shocking for views. It was almost exactly what Danny was doing at that time, but to be blunt, it wasn't as good. By a stroke of luck, Aaron just kind of bumped into Danny in LA, and I guess they hit it off. Danny then started to introduce him into the vlog, and eventually he became a regular character. But in order to become a regular, he had to sign a contract. He was like, asked me, you want to be part of my team? I'm like, sure, you know? He was like, okay, but I'm going to put you on a contract. I'm like, okay, sure. What's the contract going to say? How long? He says, 10 years. Now I'm not surprised that Danny makes the cast of his blog sign contracts. After all, he has a lot to offer and they can make a career out of that. But 10 years is a long ass contract. I don't think that Sun Hat Kid is lying about it either since Danny made a response video and never addressed that directly. Aaron said the other stipulations of the contract was that Danny would take 20% of Aaron's money and he could not collaborate with other content creators. I'm giving him 20% of my earnings. I didn't take his money. I told him to take the 20% and invest in the stocks. I had him download like a, a Robinhood or an app like that. I told him to buy Apple stocks. I told him, I even told him if he lost any money in Apple that I would give him the money back. But if I lose any money on Apple, I'll give it back to you. No, it's not. I mean, no. So instead of taking Aaron's 20%, he just told him to invest in and told him what to invest in, which is something very few employers will do. In my opinion, that exemplifies a great leader and a great boss. And next thing you know, he starts just punching at me out of nowhere. Out of, I'm like, at this point, I'm like, what is going on now? I was so shocked. All, all I felt was, a, all I saw was a big flash, like a big light. And he's just punching at me twice. He's just like, bam. Bam! And then those other people were downstairs, and at the time, like, what is going on? Did, did anyone just see me just get, like, I at least got punched multiple times for no reason. No one said anything. Now on numerous occasions, borderline every Danny Duncan vlog, you will get some sort of physical altercation. A lot of the time it's between Danny and his friends. It's kind of just like rough housing, what friends do, they all f around and beat each other up. And you could tell that it's all play, but I wouldn't be surprised if every now and again, it went too far. We've all had that moment where you and your friends are slapping each other around and one person actually gets hurt and wants to fight for real. Like we tease with each other, we have fun, and and that's fine with me. I don't care about teasing. I don't care about that stuff. You know, it's all just fun and games and we wrestle sometimes. And, you know, I mean, sometimes it gets a little annoying. It, it, you know, like, like, ah, oh, come on, man. I don't want to be teaser now. But it got more than that. So Aaron says Danny would hit him beyond just playing around. And Danny denies that. I've wrestled with Aaron like we choke each other. That's what happens. I've never violently hit Aaron in a mean way where I'm trying to, like, knock him out or something. It just, I've never done it. I never struck him in the face like no no you know what i mean it's the only thing we ever did was just friendship fucking around with each other that's it but also danny provides clips of aaron taking it too far in the vlogs hey 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 oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. hey <laughs> obviously aaron's choked nick oh oh my god he's drowning him dude <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> So maybe we can assume that both of them have taken things too far at different times. But things got more worse. So there's a time when we're in Florida, we're at Tractor Supply. He was, he was trying to get content. I was like, okay, I, I can lay on the ground and you can skate over me. I lay on the ground. And then I, I, I sat up and I was like, hey, I, I can give you advice how to like land it. 
because I, I, he kept hitting me with the board. Then I gave him some advice on how to land it. And then he kicked me in the head and he said, why are you talking? So I remember when he kicked me in the head, I was so shocked right there because everyone was around me saw and no one cared. Now Danny didn't respond to this directly. He just showed a clip of Aaron pressing his foot on someone else's head. No, come on, that's fucked up, dude. So we don't know if Danny actually kicked Aaron in the head or if this situation went down exactly the way that Aaron said it because Danny didn't even really address it, but it can be hard to feel bad or believe someone claiming to be a victim when they have done that exact same thing. And some people might also say, well, Aaron's behavior is a reflection of Danny's behavior. And Danny is his boss with a superiority complex, taking advantage of his employees since a lot of the times they have nothing to fall back on. And that may be a decent argument. But at the end of the day, anytime something gets brought to the internet, it gets a little fishy and a little clout chasey. I'm not just making this video to, to try to expose Danny. What would that do for me? Exposing Danny, what would that do for me? Well, you do have a lot to gain. The video's monetized, so you made money on that. It's your biggest video. You gained 40,000 subscribers, and you're selling the hoodie that you are wearing in the video. It's linked in the description. So then when you're digesting all of this, you start to kind of ask yourself a lot of questions. How much did Aaron try to get out of his contract? Did he say all of the things that he said in the video to Danny off camera? There was a, there was a part where I was in his bathroom, and I asked him for a favor. And then he, um, when I was like in his, I was like, his, I, I don't know. It just makes me sick talking about this. When I was in the bathroom, I asked him for a favor. Next thing you know, he put a knife right to my throat. <laughs> he put a knife right to my throat. Um, I was very confused right there. I was scared. I was scared for my life right there. Now that's a pretty big accusation. Holding a knife to someone's throat is probably a felony, but Danny denies it. Sounds like a porno, like intro. I was against a wall in his bathroom, just me and him. <laughs> but yeah, I never pulled a knife on him. And some people think it's a pretty fishy story because why would you ask someone for a favor in the bathroom? He also didn't give any context of the story or why it even led to Danny holding a knife to his throat. And then he made sure to put that it was just them two alone in the bathroom as a subtitle. So it's really just one person word against another at that point. Imagine you keep punching a dog in a face. The one time, you know, you go pet the dog and it flinches because that dog got so scared that you're going to punch him in the face. That's what I feel like with Danny. Like he punched me so many times. Almost every time like, he comes to me and about to, about to put his hands on me, I flinch because I feel like he's going to punch me or something. Aaron does flinch all the time. And he always looks sort of distraught in the videos. Now we will never know how much of this is acting or playing a character because his job is to be a character in the vlogs. But nonetheless, he is kind of the punching bag of the group. He's always being picked on and bullied. I mean, he got mostly famous in the vlogs for being Aaron the baby. I'm not a baby dude at all. <laughs> yeah, you definitely are dude. If he does it, I'll give him $5,000. And if he doesn't, he has to walk around with us all day, just like the baby he is, dressed in a diaper, a binky, and in the car, he has to sit in a car seat. All the comments on his videos were something about him being a baby, and it became this really big joke on the internet and in the videos. I know I would definitely be really annoyed at that and would probably stop that as soon as I could. But then again, he made merch out of it and was selling it. So how much did it really bother him? But the more I look at this situation, the more it seems like the line between joking around his friends and getting content for a vlog is a little bit blurred. David Dobrik had a similar problem, but in a much worse situation. It seems like Danny and his team don't have a line between what's just a joke and where it goes too far. Because what Aaron is saying is abusive and manipulative, Danny is saying it's just harmless messing around, physically and verbally. It wasn't just the hitting that he did, but it was also the, the, the verbal abuse he did to me. Some of it was funny, some of it's like on camera even, like calls me an idiot. He's always making fun of me about, about things about myself about how, how I am and how I, you know, even about my teeth, how my teeth are messed up. He always made fun of something. He always had to make, he always had to put me down about something. Again, the line of what's a joke and what isn't doesn't really seem to be clear, which as you can imagine is causing a lot of problems. But the big thing that Danny put in his response video is what's making all of Aaron's arguments really weak. After uh, how do I, what, what's, what's next? Like, what do I do? You just make your own videos, do good shit. I gotta play smart. I gotta play a game. I gotta play the, I gotta play the LA game, I guess, for a little bit. I just gotta do it. What's I'm the gonna, LA game? What, what uh, everyone else does. Dude, I, to be honest, I'm like, beyond, like, I don't know. I, I think I'm good at, like, starting drama. 
that's when I focus on starting drama. I think like, I like doing drama. Starting beefs? Yeah, starting beef. I, 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 I've been doing that for a long time, from the beginning. I'm gonna go back to this calm for a while. I have no, I don't have a filter. I, I will say anything. So you definitely don't want to start drama. No, I'm good at it though. I just one thing I'm good at. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I, I don't have a filter. I will see anything online. That's the thing. I don't care. I will talk about gay stuff. So I, I don't care. I don't have a filter. Dude, it's not good. Dude, that's gonna do it. I have to. Well, I'm just not gonna grow. I'm like, my views are crap. Oh, I gotta do I gotta make money, man. So, what, so what, what do you think I should do? Make good videos. But all I'm here right now is that I gotta do whatever it takes to make it. And that's what I'm gonna do, I guess. Whatever it takes. Yeah, make sure whatever. you pay back the the pot. What is it? The deposit on the apartment. Like whatever it takes. <sighs> When you say something like that, man, you just shoot yourself in the foot. You basically just said, I'm good at making shit up and I know that I can get views from it. It's super hard to give Aaron the benefit of the doubt and to believe his accusations, knowing that he, you know, makes up drama. To me, I wouldn't be surprised if Danny was a bit over aggressive at times. The line between joking and serious, whether it's physically and verbally, I think needs to be more clearly established within his team. I'm sure he's crossed that line with numerous people. And most of the time when it comes to your friends or family, you can work it out. But when it comes to something that you're profiting off of and your business is sort of shaped around it, that's when things get a little bit more serious, especially when it's very successful and you're making a lot of money doing it. However, I do think Danny cares about his people. He gives them a lot and he's done so much good for his friends, family, and community. Despite having the fuck shit up and I don't care attitude, he really does go out of his way to give his fans information about being successful, investing, and taking care of themselves. And I'm not sure how much acting and playing a character Aaron is doing. To be blunt, I always thought this kid was kind of dumb, like an innocent dumb kid. But it could all be a facade that they set up to make Danny's vlogs more entertaining and interesting. I don't really know. But with Aaron's comments about being able to make up drama for views, it becomes really difficult to believe anything that he said.